Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Welcome back to our learning space. My name is Miss Lara. Can you tell me your name? I'm so grateful that you made it back this morning. Shall we start our day off with a song? My friend here, ready? Good morning, good morning. It's a sunshine kind of day. Let's see. It's time for some learning and some play. Will we sing a song? Of course we will. Make our brains strong, like super strong. So come along, yes, come along, friends, for some learning and some play. Okay, let me put my puppet away, and then we'll go through our schedule of the day. All those rhyming words, I just can't help myself. So here we go. We're gonna do our emotional check-in, and actually, today we're gonna sing a song. We're gonna do our weekly investigation. Can you guess what we're gonna learn about? Hmm. And then we're going to sing our goodbye song. Does that sound like a good plan? Okay, now I promised you a song. Do you know the tune for this song? It goes like this. Tootie-ta, a tootie-ta, a tootie-ta-ta. Yeah, let me stand up and show you what we're gonna do. So we're only gonna have time to do one of them today, but we're gonna think about how it might feel if we're happy. What might you have on you? That's right, a smile and bright eyes. So let's do our song, it goes like this. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. Smiles up, eyes bright. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. Smiles up, eyes bright, thumbs up. Do a dance. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. Ooh, that got me feeling happy too. Now, before we get going, I want you to guess what we're going to learn about this week. Let's see, I'm gonna give you a letter and that's gonna give you a clue about what we're gonna learn about. So, I have my big line down, my little curve, I know you're thinking it's P, but it's not. And then my little line. What letter have I made? Yes, it's the letter R, R for read. And actually, this week is a very special week. Let me turn this around. Da, 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 da. It is Read Across America Week. Read Across America is a time when we celebrate reading and all the things that books bring us. It's also somebody's birthday, a very special author named Dr. Seuss. And this is him right here. His birthday is on March 2nd. And as a country, the United States, we celebrate that whole week by reading books. So in your classrooms or at home, you can dress up, you can read silly books, all kinds of things. Now, Dr. Seuss is Read Across America Week is actually sponsored by the National Education Association, and they have a poet on their staff, and that poet wrote a poem about this week, and I wanna read it to you before I introduce our story. And it goes like this. This is more for parents, so listening ears. You're never too old, too wacky, too wild, to pick up a book and read with a child. You're never too busy, too cool, or too hot, to pick up a book and share what you've got. In schools and communities, let's gather around. Let's pick up a book, let's pass it around. There are kids all around you, kids who will need someone to hug someone to read. Come join us March 2nd, your own special way, and make this America's Read to Kids Day. So I love reading, and I hope you do too. So this week, I thought I'd share a very special story with you based on the book, The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. Let's watch together. 
It's story time. The Cat and the Hat, adapted from the book by Dr. Seuss and retold by Miss Lara. It was storming outside. It was too wet to play. So we sat inside on that very, very wet day. All we could do was to sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it, not one little bit. And then something went bump, and that bump made us jump. We looked and we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat and the hat. And he said, I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. Our mother was not in the house that day, and poor Sally and I didn't know what to say. But our fish said, no, 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 tell that cat to go away. Tell that cat in the hat you do not wish to play. Now, now, have no fear, have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Look at me, look at me now. It's fun to have fun, but you have to know how. Watch as I hold up a cup and some cake. Books, a toy ship, and a fish on a rake. And that's what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball. And Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this. Look at that. And the cat in the hat said to the fish that was mad, I will not go away, I do not wish to go, and so I will show you another game that I know. I call this game Fun in a Box, said the cat. I will open the box and you'll see something new, two things, and I call them Thing 1 and Thing 2. Thing 2 and Thing 1, they ran up, they ran down, and the poor fish said, no, 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 with the frown. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with pops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. Then our fish said, look, look, and our fish shook with fear. Your mother's on her way home, do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. And the cat and the things went away with a sad kind of look. But that isn't the end of this very fun book. And then who was back in the house? Why, the cat. Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up my playthings before I go. That's another great trick that I know. Then our mother came in and she said to us too, Did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? Should we tell her about it? Now what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? The end. All right, I hope that you loved that book. And remember, you can read more books and learn about more things by using the Sora app. Now, today we're going to make a cat in the hat hat. So here are the materials that we're going to need. We're going to need a paper plate, some glue, scissors, red and black paper, and you can use paint or some more of that same paper, and a stick or a dowel. Now a dowel is just a fancy stick, but you can use any stick that you find outside. So the first step is we're gonna take our paper plate and we actually are gonna cut around the paper plate like this to leave an opening for our face. So you're going to need to fold the paper plate in half like this, so it kind of makes a moon shape. And then you're going to take your scissors, ready? Open, shut them, this is the way we cut, cut, cut. And then you're going to put them in the middle of the paper plate like this to make a small hole and put your scissors inside. Now, you can have a grown-up help you make the hole so that you are able to cut around. Notice that I'm using my helper finger to hold the paper plate steady as I cut around, almost there, ta-da! 
look, I have a circle now, and this is where my face is gonna go. Now, of course, we're going to need some ears because every cat has some ears. Now, what shape do you think a cat's ears are? Hmm, I want you to think. What shape are a cat's ears? Yes, let's make some triangles. Cats have two ears, so let's do that. We're gonna go up and down. A triangle has three sides. So oh, here's one triangle, and here's another triangle. And then we're going to glue the cat's ears on like this. Now before we do that, I'm gonna show you how to make the cat's whiskers. So you'll notice here, I have some whiskers on my mask. So you're gonna take some black paper like this, and you're gonna cut strips of paper. Now parents, what you can do to really help your child learn how to control scissors is draw lines for them right on the paper that they have to follow. Now they may not be perfect, but it really does help them uh, learn some control over what they're doing. So I'm going to make some strips and I want them to be even on either side. So I'm making six strips. Let me see, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm also gonna glue those down. And of course, if you wanted to, one thing that you can do is use some paint. Now I have some black paint here and you can actually empty it into a little container, but for time, I'm just gonna dip it right in and you can paint your mask all the way around with some black paint. Another technique that you might use is a fork. So you might dip your paint in fork and a fork and then put it right on your mask and it leaves a very special effect. You know, Dr. Seuss, his characters are known for the lines and shadows that they have on them. So I'm gonna paint this all the way around like this. And Next, I'll glue my whiskers and my ears to this, and I'll make a quick bow by folding in half some paper and then making like a heart shape like this. See, bow, and then I'll put on a hat. And what I'll have once everything is glued and dried is a mask. So this is what my mask looks like. And a little tip I have for you boys and girls is my, I actually glued the stick on the side to make it go up like this. And of course, it wouldn't be Dr. Seuss if I didn't have a black cat nose. What do you think? So I hope that you make this activity. Let me say a quick goodbye and tell you what we're gonna do tomorrow. So tomorrow, we're gonna continue learning about Dr. Seuss. We're actually gonna learn about the author and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about who he was and why he's famous. And we're also gonna make another fun thing. We're gonna make oblic, which is a kind of slime. So I hope to see you then, boys and girls. Remember to read and to play and to always enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye. to a brand new day time to learn and games to play learning things is so much fun learning is good for everyone